Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and today we'll be doing the daily quest in the Valley of Triumph. We have Relive the Sparkler Spirit, Hold the Hand of a Friend, Relive the Manta Call, and Meditate at the End of the Race. Now, our first stop will be to go towards the Citadel area, and that is the area right before the Flying Race. So once we're at the bottom where the ice rink is, we're going to head towards the leftmost exit. There's usually a barrier here, but I'm flying above it. And this area right ahead will be the Citadel. Now here is where we will find the Manticall. This one is pretty annoying if you've already collected it. It's really hard to see where you have to catch it. So you'll just have to pay close attention, try and find the little gray star. The manticall can be started right below us here. You see this little glowing circle. This is where a spirit should be. Now, to collect this one, there will be a little floating uh, glyph that we're supposed to find. I don't see it. It looks like all of the birds. Oh. Uh, okay, over there. It seems like they've changed this one. It used to be that all of the glyphs would fly at once, but it looks like it's one at a time. Uh, where is it? I'm sorry, I'm very much struggling here. I'm very happy I have other people to help me. Uh, okay, we see this one here. It's ahead of us. Maybe we can get it. Uh, yeah, we got it. Okay. Where's the next one? Right down there. Ah, I'm flying out of control. Again, very happy I have other people. This one is up here. I think I'm gonna miss it. Bonk. Yes. And then... Oh, there it is. I think I've got it. Oh, maybe I don't. Eh. What a struggle I'm having. I'm also flying on my iPad, and I don't usually uh, fly around with this one. I usually just use my phone. I find it easier. And our final one is down here. I think it's our last one. Yay! <laughs> okay, so the rest of the quests will all be completed at the end of the race. So you can complete the race, and I will meet you at the end. I'm just going to teleport to a friend. Alright, once you are at the bottom, we're just going to head towards the right hand side and we have the meditation spot hidden here. I don't see Kiko or Reiji. I think they might not be able to teleport for some reason. Alright, and then our spirit we have to relive is in the very exit here in the temple. I guess I'll go there and hopefully Reiji and Kiko can teleport. Let's see. So we're going to be reliving the Sparkler Spirit. This one can be found towards the left here. The left here. Oh, yeah, they're coming. Okay. There is a little barrier here, but uh, I can make it through. If not, you can actually sneak through the top and work your way down. There's no barrier at the very top. This one is not super hard, but it's a very long carry quest. And there are some crabs, so make sure you're flipping them. Well, I wish I had my lantern. This would be a great place to bring the lantern, which I have. I just don't want to go back and get it. Oh. Oh, okay. So this is a great example of what the lantern does. It really lights up the entire place. I think Kiko used a lantern spell. I forgot those exist, to be honest. It's so handy.
we are about to jump down into a crab pit. Be careful. There's not too many down here, though. And let me keep going. Don't worry, you guys. I will collect this winged light. I promise. And then from here, we just have to jump down. Um, it may get stuck on this little ledge over here. There's another ledge. You just have to pull it down a little bit. And our final checkpoint is right across from us. Ta-da! Easy peasy. A little long, a little challenging, but altogether not too bad. Now our final quest for today is to hold the hand of a friend. Um, I find it easier if you offer to someone. Yay! That is all for today's daily quests. Thanks so much, as always, for watching, you guys. I hope you found this helpful, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!